Imagine treating HIV without swallowing a single pill. Imagine the freedom of not having to remember daily medication or juggle multiple pill bottles. Well, a remarkable breakthrough promises exactly that, and it's changing lives. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Abhishek, a specialist pharmacist in HIV and sexual health. Today, we're going to explore a groundbreaking combination HIV treatment. The first complete injectable regimen approved to treat HIV. This revolutionary treatment, known as Cabinuva, combines two long-acting injectable medications, Cabotegravir and Rilpivirine. Now, just in case if you're wondering what's so special about it, consider this. For decades, the daily pill treatment has been an unwelcome constant for those living with HIV. Every dose serves as a jarring reminder of having to manage this serious condition. Many struggle with the need to hide their pill bottles, desperate to maintain privacy about their status. Others find swallowing pills to be an excruciating ordeal leading to skip doses and potential treatment failure. Cabinuva injections has the potential to lift the psychological weight and stigma surrounding HIV treatment regimens. By replacing daily pills with two monthly injections, it could offer immense relief to those grappling with the challenges of daily oral medication. The discrete nature of injections can help individuals preserve their privacy and autonomy. Moreover, the long-acting formulation ensures consistent therapeutic levels, minimizing the risk of missed doses and treatment failures. Cabotegravir and Rilpivirine work together and must be given simultaneously to be effective. However, there are circumstances where injectable treatment may not be recommended, including for women who are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, people living with obesity, people with an uncommon form of HIV, people with HIV resistant to certain classes of antiretrovirals, people with hepatitis B infection taking treatment, and people with detectable levels of HIV viral load in the blood. To start this treatment, there are two options. Either taking tablets of Cabotegravir and Rilpivirine for at least 28 days before starting injections, or starting injections immediately. The decision will be made between you and your clinic doctor. If you begin with oral tablets, take them together at the same time every day after food. The last dose of tablets coincides with your first injection date. The first two injection doses are given monthly and then every two months. Injections can only be administered by a healthcare professional, so you need to visit them on your injection dates. It's crucial to have your injections on the scheduled dates. If you can't make it, there is a two-week window to reschedule, starting one week before and ending one week after your original injection date. Inform your clinic as soon as possible if you can't make your appointment within this window. Let's now look at side effects. Like any medication, Carbotegravir and Rilpivirine come with potential side effects. Common ones include, but not limited to, injection site reactions such as pain and swelling, diarrhea, headache, insomnia, abnormal dreams, low mood, and rash. These side effects are typically most noticeable when you first start therapy and generally decrease over time. If any side effects persist and become bothersome, contact your pharmacist or doctor immediately. Let's now look at another very important aspect of taking HIV medication called drug interactions. Cabotegravir and Rilpivirine can interact with other medications, including drugs for indigestion or heartburn like like omeprazole or lansoprazole, herbal medication like St. John's wort, certain anti-seizure medication like carbamazepine, dexamethasone which is a steroid, certain antibiotics for tuberculosis like rifampicin, and multivitamins or supplements containing minerals like calcium, iron, zinc, etc. Hence, make sure your doctor and pharmacist know about any other medication you take, including over-the-counter medication, vitamin supplements, herbal products, and even recreational drugs like cocaine, ecstasy, crystal meth, etc. When taking Cabotegravir and Rilpivirine, be cautious of alcohol, as heavy drinking can impact adherence and can also make it more difficult for the liver to process these medications. As for its use during pregnancy and breastfeeding, at the time of recording this video, Cabotegravir and Rilpivirine is not recommended if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant 
treatment and breastfeeding. HIV treatment has come a long way, with Cabanova standing as a testament to medical advancement. Our journey today illuminates the hope and progress in HIV management, simplifying and enhancing the lives of those living with HIV. So that's it folks, I hope you found this video useful and informative about this important HIV treatment option. However, please remember, this video is meant to inform and not to substitute professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider for any health concerns and do not stop taking your medication or make Make any changes based on something you've heard here. Thanks for watching and please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Until then, stay safe folks.